So the problem with your claim is that it, con it is contradicted by the facts. To, on their own time and with a collateral duty apply to be emergency medical technicians. When we hear about stories coming out from you and your agency that everything is pretty good and you're doing a great job. I guess you, you feel like you're doing a great job, right? Is that what you're saying? We're doing our level best in a very challenging What does that mean? What does that mean when a child is sitting in their own feces, can't take a shower? Come on, man. What's that about? None of us would have our children in that position. They are human beings. You know, that, that's a big question. It's been a couple decades here uh, responding after 9-11 to, to try to help protect the country. And It's not the deed that you do to a child. It's the memory. It's the memory. Uh, Ms. Washman Schultz just in that, not knocking the, 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 the Border Patrol people, and didn't say that. All right, now, Mr. Ruda. We are the United States of America. We are the greatest country in the world. We are the ones that can, can go anywhere in the world and save people. Make sure that they have diapers. Make sure that they have toothbrushes. Make sure that they're not laying around defecating in some silver paper. Come on, we're better than that. When we are dancing with the angels, these children will be dealing with the issues that have been presented to them. How do you say to a two-year-old, your mother, we can't find your mother, but we can find her keys. Oh, we'll find her keys. We got, to, got to mama's keys. These are things that CPB agents, your agents on the ground told me, stop throwing money at this. One specific person. Another said, we weren't trained for this to separate children. We aren't a, we're, I'm not a, he said specifically, I'm not a social worker or a medical care worker. This is the most important one. The separation policy isn't working. What do you say to that? So I would say three things. Money is needed to mitigate the crisis. We're applying it effectively now. But I agree, we should change the authorizing law so that we wouldn't have the crisis in the first place. Because throwing money about it is just going to continue to manage it. Uh, I'm, I, my third question was about the separation policy. There is no separation yeah, policy. Yeah, they, they, there, okay. There's a court order and an executive order that define the conditions for the welfare of the child, okay. and they're limited conditions. They're extraordinarily rare. Out of 450,000 families this year, fewer than 900 children have been separated from the adult they cross with who's a parent, and it's been because of a criminal history or, or prosecution, yeah. a and, not and related the to the immigration processing, a medical issue. Or, uh, Mr. Chairman, if I do have more time at the child. end, I would like to ask further questions for clarification. Did you consider the dehumanizing effect on the officers, specifically in child separation, in forcing them to take children away from their parents? Enforcing the law often has emotional impacts for everybody involved, mm -hmm. uh, and that's something uh, that they sign up for, but it's something we want to provide resilient services, mental health support uh, for anyone who mm -hmm. needs it. Did you all consider the emotional and mental impact on CBP officers?